You ever had one of those games that you picked up and thought you were gonna love from the art style alone? Luna the Shadow Dust, a point-and-click adventure game released by the four-person team at Lantern Studio, is that kind of game for me, as what immediately grabbed my attention was the hand-drawn animations and cinematic cutscenes. My fondness for adventure games also swayed me, but the game's graphics and storytelling alone had convinced me to give the game a try. Of course, the risk you run when you buy a game based on aesthetics is that the gameplay won't live up to your expectations, and while Luna avoids this problem for the most part, there are some design hiccups that prevent it from being an amazing game. In Luna the Shadow Dust, you play as a nameless boy who journeys into a mysterious tower that contains rooms with devious puzzles in order to reach the top. He, along with an adorable cat-like creature he finds inside, must traverse from room to room, solving puzzles and learning more about the world and why they've come to the tower in the first place. Luna features no dialogue whatsoever, instead telling its story through cutscenes and details in the background of each room. The game answers some of the questions players are likely to ask, but leaves many of them unanswered or ambiguous, and I like that. You should grasp the basic plot no problem, but the game gives you plenty of hints regarding its world that players who care about that kind of stuff will enjoy digging for. Regardless of how you look at the story, the basic gameplay is the same, using the boy and cat creature to solve puzzles that unlock the way forward. The boy is able to interact with objects such as switches and levers, while the cat can enter small holes and interact with shadows, allowing him to walk where the boy can't. Since there's no inventory, all the game's puzzles revolve around learning what you need to interact with and how, more like Myst and less like a Sierra or LucasArts game, if you need a comparison. You need to study how every interaction changes the world around you, survey the environment for clues and patterns, and perform actions in the correct sequence to move on, sometimes with timed events that test your reflexes in addition to your mental capacity. The majority of the puzzles are designed well, creating both a logical chain of events to figure out and a unique visual representation of every puzzle. Each room looks vastly different from one another, and every puzzle is crafted around the environment it's placed in, which gives them a much more nuanced and detailed feel. But the problem is, they don't often provide the appropriate feedback you expect when you solve a puzzle. There's certainly an attempt, as the music swells up when a puzzle is solved and your map of the tower gradually gets bigger with every room you clear, but it's much more subdued than a typical puzzle game. I think the issue is that when you finish most puzzles, you get the same door opening animation and sound effect, and that loses its impact quickly. But other times, the characters are forced to slowly climb tall ladders to move on to the next room, and that kills the feeling you get when you solve a tricky puzzle. This may seem odd if you haven't experienced the game, but I think Luna's subdued approach to narrative and structure ultimately hurts it in terms of puzzle design. Aesthetically, however, Luna absolutely destroys it, because if nothing else, this game is beautiful. The hand-drawn art by Beidi Guo and the soundtrack by Wang Qian both create a feeling of wonder, mystery, and fantasy, leading to a calming, Ghibli-esque atmosphere. Combined with the wordless storytelling, the art and music establish an experience that is wholly unique, and while you may see it as simple or antiquated, just looking at it without playing it yourself doesn't do it justice. The narrative, visuals, and audio completely engross you into the game, and even if the gameplay sometimes takes you out of it, it won't be long before the presentation reels you back in. It wouldn't be fair to say that the entire game rests on its art style, though, because the core of Luna the Shadow Dust is a solid adventure game with decent puzzles. I believe that a game shouldn't be judged solely by its aesthetics, and if you strip all that away, Luna delivers puzzles that are mostly enjoyable but sometimes unsatisfying to solve. But that's ignoring a sizable chunk of the experience, and in my mind, the story, graphics, and music are what Luna will be remembered for down the line. While Luna is a good adventure game and will certainly appeal to fans of the genre, it probably won't do much to convince those who don't like these kinds of games. But if the artwork and music seem intriguing to you, then I recommend giving it a shot, because Luna's aesthetics go a long way in creating an engaging and worthwhile experience.